All right, Coach, uh, we can go a lot of different direction here, but it's got to start on the defensive end. I mean, what you guys did in the second half, 14 points in the third quarter, allowed 12 in the fourth. Uh, it really started right there. What a, what a tremendous effort by your team defensively. Yeah, like you said, Graf, tremendous effort. Um, we talked about it in practice. But just overall, we went out and competed. Um, they knocked us on our, he our he heels early, but we sustained, and we once we, we played with a sense of urgency, it was a big difference in our play overall. Again, you had three double-doubles tonight, but I want to start with Kyra Lewis, who yeah, really came off the bench and gave you a tremendous spark. You know, he hadn't played in three games. Was him sitting kind of – was able to sit back and kind of survey things? Did that help him tonight? You know what? I think more importantly than just the sitting – it's the work that he's been putting in. Uh, Kyra comes to the gym at 7 a.m. every morning. Uh, those are the things that people don't see. He wants to be good. He does everything that you ask him to do. Uh, we spoke a little bit um, before he even set the three games. And I just talked to him about uh, his role, his responsibility. And um, I'm proud of what he did tonight. Uh, we don't win that game without Kyra Lewis coming in and playing with that type of effort with that type of energy. And then the scoring is, is an added bonus on top. But he was defending. He was blowing up screens. He was getting us into our offense. Those are the things that he's capable of and more. And uh, once again, proud of him. And a little more to that. I mean, what were just some of the things you told him about, hey, look, here's here's how you can uh, you know, positively impact games. Right. He has to use his speed. That's what he has that, you know, is hard to teach and uh, is special. Use the speed defensively, picking up full court, causing havoc, um, blowing up screens, and then offensively just hitting and going. When he uses his speed, he's really tough to guard. And uh, I thought he did a really good job tonight of just coming in and playing the type of game that we, we all have seen and um, big time on his, on his part. And you, you've said in the past that you want, uh, you know, JV shot the ball really well this year, but you want him to take even more. What do you think about him? Just, I mean, not only making five, but but getting up nine in this game. <laughs> um, it's it's what he's capable of. He's an elite shooter based on his numbers this year. Um, so just looking at his numbers, we want him to shoot a few more threes. Um, he went five of, five of nine. That's a good percentage, and uh, JV is is more than capable. So instead of just diving every time, just having a balance of setting screens and popping, setting screens and diving, mixing it up, and he did a good job of that tonight. Yeah, in this past road trip, there's a lot of talk about, hey, taking that punch and then responding and not being able to respond. What was it like seeing the night you guys fall behind and responded with physicality, hitting the boards, those type of things? Well, tonight was the opposite of what's been happening with us. Um, the last two or three games, we get out to an early start, an early lead, and then teams up their intensity and we don't sustain it. Tonight was the opposite. They came out and they punched us right away. Uh, our, our guys just settled into what we do, um, which is guard, move the basketball, and play together. And uh, we were able to sustain that and go out and, and go on a really good run and, and win the game. And on that note, just what do you think about the, the two-way play from Josh Hart these past few games, you know, attacking the lane, playing defense, all those things? Josh has been excellent. You know, everything that we ask him to do, he's going out and, and giving 110% on both ends of the floor. Um, his game is really flourishing, and we just want to continue to build. It's a really good win against a really good team, and uh, we want to take this momentum into Indiana tomorrow night. Hey, Willie. Uh, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Rod, Rod is really excited about the win, guys. <laughs> I was talking to uh, Ty Lue before the game, and I was just asking him, like, what kind of advice has he given you as this team, you know, struggled a little bit earlier. And he said something about just staying the course. It's kind of, but yeah. how hard has that been to actually to do? you know, to keep this team staying the course despite the outcome of some of these games? You know what? It is um, – at times it can be difficult because the moment things don't go right, you want to change. That's the natural sort of progression is, okay, things aren't going the way we want to. Let's change things. But I believe in this team. I believe in our organization. Uh, and I believe we'll be a good team. Uh, Ty has been great. He's been a great sounding board. Talking to him about, you know, what it's like being a first – um, what some things that he did, and he's so willing to share um, any information. He's been great, um, like a big brother. We talk all the time, but you know, every now and then, and he's he's always giving me some some nuggets to take into um, just building our program. For I think it was like 13 free throw attempts total 
uh, in in the game. So I, clearly they were kind of letting some things some things go. With this being the fifth and seven for them in the second half, was that kind of a point of emphasis to just try and be as as the, the rest would let you to to, to kind of just against them. You know, they're they're a physical team too. they I think they're you know number two uh, defensive rated team in the, in the, in the league. Uh, we want to be a physical team. Um, so tonight played to our advantage. We were able to be physical. They let a lot of things go. I, I those type of games. Um, you know, they were. It was tough for them on a, a second night of a back to back. So once we just sustained their initial thrust, um, we were able to come out and, and, and play up to our ability, which we have to do consistently. How hard is that then when you're on the first night of a back-to-back to then <laughs> have to be able to sustain that level of energy after playing such a physical uh, type of game where they let so much stuff go? Yeah, but it's just a part of the league. It's, we can't do anything about it. The schedule is what it is. You just got to go out and um, continue to play based on the foundations that you have. That's it. Yeah, and Paul George is a guy, you know, been a discussion for MVP up, you know, so, so far this season. Just what do you think about the job you guys did against him tonight, forcing him to take tough shots? I thought we did a really good job making him take tough shots. And thankfully he missed them. But he normally doesn't. And he's considered an, an MVP candidate because he freaking goes out and he plays hard, he plays the right way, and he can make those shots. Uh, but our guys did a really good job of climbing into him, our bigs were up on the pick and rolls. That was an adjustment we made, especially for him and Reggie Jackson. And um, I thought we just tried to make his night tough all night long. And um, good job on our part. To to that, what did you think of the play Herb had on him uh, <laughs> at the end of the, the first half there? Herb. Oh, Herb on, oh, man. on Paul Herb. He's been great for us, uh, especially to be a young player like that, uh, a rookie, having the instincts that he has defensively and offensively. Uh, Herb was a plus 17 in 26 minutes. That says it all. He comes in and he guards. He just do, does all the little things to help you win games. Scott on Zoom. Josh Hart had some pretty strong words after the game the other night. Uh, how meaningful is it just to see him kind of take those words and then when you guys are down 20, be able to back him up? Uh, is, is that kind of you know, a little bit more given all the situation there? It does. And I think more than anything for Josh, he's just stepping into a leadership role. And his play is showing it, what he's doing with his teammates off the floor, in the huddles, in the locker room, uh, has been excellent. And once again, it's, it's what he's capable of. And we're encouraging him to, look, you got to be a leader this year. And he's done a great job thus far. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys.